Welcome back to the channel. We're going to take a look at the stabilization feature. So we got this shot of these motorcycle riders, and we'll give you a full screen. So as you can see, it's bouncing around. And with the stabilization on, it looks like this. Generally speaking, I just turn on stabilization and hit stabilize. It automatically zooms in for you so you can see the difference when we toggle this on and off. So you do lose a little bit of the framing, especially depending on the motion. And then if you have camera lock turned on, it'll bypass these sliders. So let's try it again here. And you can see the frame underneath there moving quite a bit. See this line, at the bottom of the screen. So if you hit zoom and you have that present, you can just hit zoom and it crops that out for you automatically. And then if we slide the opacity down and we have the original shot underneath, you can see the difference between the zoomed in and stabilized version versus the original. And there's quite a bit of movement going on right there. And if you want to do batches, you can actually grab all your media, hit stabilize in the inspector. So if we had all these clips down on the timeline, command A to select all and actually hit stabilize. And as you can see, it'll run that stabilization on all your clips. I've done that for a couple of uh, batches of media that we had problems with that needed stabilization from a handheld camera. And it worked extremely well. And I just exported a stabilized batch of media and the editor was happy with that. And I didn't have to change any settings. Just did a nice, good, clean, subtle job. And everybody was happy with that. So it's quite a useful tool. All right. Thanks for watching. As always. We'll see you on the next video.